We're back at the auto show, and I got to tell you, we already know that consumers do not want to put down their smartphones, and now even when you're in the car, your smartphone might have a pretty interesting role to play. We're here with Jesse Choprak of TrueCar.com to talk a little bit about all of the technology that consumers are going to see in some of the latest models. So talk to me a little bit about some of the smartphone connectivity that's popping up right now. You know, the technology has improved so immensely that we're seeing smartphone connectivity in pretty much all classes of vehicles. This was uh, a technology that was reserved for some of the more higher priced vehicles, luxury vehicles that are priced at $30,000 or higher, but now you can get a $15,000 entry-level compact car and have all your life connected while you're driving. Uh, there are many, many different technologies that uh, really does the same thing at the end of the day, which is basically allowing you to drive your car hands-free while talking on the phone. The whole argument about whether this is destructive or not being aside, this is the trend of the automotive industry and we're seeing all manufacturers embracing the potential, especially to bring younger buyers into their showrooms by utilizing technology. And you mentioned distracted driving. Are any of these systems better than others or have anything different going for them that really limits that distraction or the potential for it? You know, you want as little interaction uh, hand interaction with the system. So the systems that are completely controllable and that are practical with purely voice uh, are the ones that happen to be the ones that are the least destructive. That at least is the assumption. However, if you think about it, if you're having just a conversation with somebody in the car, you're having an argument with somebody in the car, let's just say, which is a common thing if you're, if you're a couple, um, the fact that you're having the conversation, your brain is engaged in the activity, is the main reason for the distraction. It isn't that your hands are necessarily occupied with something. So the, the jury is out whether these systems are necessarily making the driving better or enabling drivers to do activities that they will otherwise not be engaged in. Uh, so there, there are two camps, right? One is saying that people are going to do this anyway. They're going to text, they're going to check their Facebook, they're going to talk on the phone. So why not make it as safe as possible? And the other um, school of thought will say, well, you were driving. You should just be paying attention driving. If you need to talk to somebody and communicate, stop and do what you got to do and, and move on. We've, we've somehow survived without having to text in our cars all our lives. The next few years, it became a necessity. So I think the reality is somewhere in between. And I think what you're going to see is that the marketplace is going to be driven by consumers' needs. So even if there are some safety issues potentially involved in this, automakers cannot stand back and let the other uh, competitors take the, the limelight in, in, in this race. Because this is especially important for younger buyers. You know, the 20, 30 somethings want the connectivity. But now older buyers are used to this too. So it's, it's, it's one of those things where if you don't have the right connectivity tools in your car, you might actually have a competitive disadvantage. It sounds like this is something that as a buyer that you want to be checking this and really testing it as part of your process before you buy the car. Right, because there are a lot of systems that seem very complicated. Uh, there are other ones that seem very attractive from the outside, just the way they appear to consumers. But you know, all consumers have different levels of ability to use technology, and some of these uh, systems are more intuitive than the others. So because now cars are becoming so technologically involved, it is a good idea to not only drive the car, but also drive the technology. So while you're at the show, make sure you test drive the technology along with the cars. For Wall Street Journal Digital Network, I'm Kelly Grant.